Hello everybody, it's me, and welcome back to another video. Now, in this video, I do not snap at all. In this video, I'm going to be taking a look at Metronet. Now, Metronet, I won't lie, has always been one of my favorite Roamer designs. I don't know, it feels so cool, just a little crazy puppet. And whenever Metronet was first ever released, um, back in Halloween 2021, I kind of forget. But... I absolutely loved it, and I fell in love with it, and I really, really wanted to get a good PvP of it. And at the time, I actually did not know about Harmonized Dust Kit, so I got a Foolish Nimble Secret Ability. I think I actually still own that one, but I'll maybe maybe I'll look for it later. But right now, I'm going to take a look at this match net. Now, I thought of, what are some moves that not a lot of people remember in this game and have a little bit of usage? And then I remembered Splitting Headache, right? We're taking a look at this today, and yeah, we're running the Pure Nimble personality because we want to just get our speed up, and the faster we are as mentioned it, the better. And yeah, we have the item Volcanic Ash for a specific reason. Now here with the battle, we're going with the generic uh, Metronet moveset, but we have Splitting Headache. Now what Splitting Headache does is that it will do double damage if you're inflicted with a status ailment, essentially boosting this thing's strength to 120 base power making this your strongest stab and pair with pyrokinesis uh fire and mind is a really hard double stab to switch in or double uh coverage to switch into and on top of that you have dark surge which can hit some annoying mind types that might want to try to resist this and overall you can nuke after one piece of mind and because of this thing's incredible speed tier of 105 it's able to just get good out speeds and it's just generally going to be really useful <clears throat> yeah 56 HP, 44 energy, 200 range attack, 200 speed. The 44 energy is just so you can get up to 300, which can allow for like two piece of mines and then just whatever the heck, you know, because we have like 40 costing, might as well just get it up there. I don't see why not. And then the 200 range attack, 200 speed is so as fast as possible and do as much damage as possible. And yeah, overall, I am very excited to try this thing out. Hopefully you guys are as well. And without further ado, let us get straight into it. Alrighty, and here we go into the first battle. Now, um, hmm. I mean, he has one good splitting headache switching, which is his own Metronet, so we can deal with that. He can't beat Tatab's Timber Thrash, so that's also good. Like, uh, I mean, he has a quad resist to it with Rancidor, so we want to be a little bit careful of that. Um, I think this is just a solid lead. He has no real way to counteract this lead. His only option would be Chiento, so then I get a slap down off. Which then if I end up dying, it's completely fine. Um, I definitely have to bring Nightmare for in case Revenine wants to kind of just pop off. Because it can do that. And then I think I go with Weaselin. And this team seems fine. But it is inherently weak to the Soulburst Metro. But it's not Soulburst. So, it's fine. As they go with Rancidor lead, actually. So, I get to slap for free. Yeah, I can just slap down for free. And I'm fine with this. Slap down is completely fine. I don't see him ever staying in, but I guess sometimes people are insane. So no more power cuffs for him. I'm assuming he is... He's Augment. Okay. Intriguing. Um, Interesting. Let's just go for a barb and try to stall this out for as long as we can. Stalling out the Augment will be the best thing for us because we don't want to get things to get stat boost that we really don't want to deal with, you know? They are straight into Metronet trying to go for a speed boost, actually, on the Soul Burst form. So this is actually not... Not great. Like, low-key, this is kind of bad. Ugh. Wait a second. 154. Oof. 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 Okay. He can't peace of mind. That's fine. Holy crap. This is not great. I'm not gonna lie. This is definitely... This definitely could have gone better. Mmm. I'll slap, because... If he's not Solbers, this will, he's not going to Solbers here, so as long as I don't get flinched, we are a happy tree. We are a happy tree. What is he? Is he Solburst? He is Solburst. Okay. I'm um, just not clicking it yet. Let's just uh, Barb then again, if we can. He's just going to be forced to go for an attacking move. Like, he has to go for the kill here. Um, And then we kind of... Oh my god, this is not great. That speed boost is actually detrimental, I'm not going to lie. Like, this speed boost that he got is really bad. It's bad, dude. This is not good. This is bad.
This this is not good. I I have to go into my own metronet. He's gonna soul burst now. Really, he doesn't. Oh no! This is bad. It's not good. Oh man. <clears throat> I'm gonna go Naima. I think this should be fine. Oh my god! He gets the speed boost on the Metro, which is like the one boost that would be a huge problem for me. If he goes into- if he soul bursts here, I don't know if we're gonna win. Oh my god. Don't freaking flinch me. Please. No, please. Please. Oh my god. Alright. Threat detained. I lose to Revenine. GG's. Good games. Alright. That's bad. This is- it's not good. It's not good at all. It's bad. It's bad. I don't get why he didn't soul burst though. You know? I'll live. I'll live. Oh. Cool. Mm -hmm. One problem with this metronet is we have no recovery. It's like health amulet isn't really a thing we can use. But. Hmm. This can never beat me. This doesn't have a move that can kill me right now. Oh! Okay. I actually remember fighting this guy. He just likes to spam protecting moves. Now look, I don't feel bad about getting that flinch because he got the speed boost on his Metronet, right? I don't feel bad about that. Revenine, now this is something that we actually might be able to one-shot with uh, Splitting Headache, but we first need to get this thing boots, or not boots, uh, shackles immediately, so. Immediately gonna give this thing shackles. Mmm. It's a barb. Don't see why not. More barbs, right? Okay. Mmm. Actually, Naima's fine. Not great, though. Very bad. Very bad start for me. Like, you get the augment and then gets this speed boost on Metchnet, so I can't outspeed with boots top top to kill it. Like, sheesh. Mm. Okay. What's your name? Alrighty, Metro Net. Let's see what we got. I'm assuming Florian, right? Maybe that was the Stormers. Or Chienta. If it's Chienta, it's GG's. Oh, okay. Mmm. Mmm. I have a question for you here. Which one does more, splitting headache or pyrokinesis? It's actually splitting headache because of stab plus the double damage. Mmm. My god, dude. I think it's stronger anyway because Pyrokinesis is just double damage. Ow. Which would put it up to 130 power. Whereas Splitting Headache gets Stab. Which would be 25. So it would be 125%. I think. Let's see the damage here though. Okay, that's not bad. Like, look. I know that didn't one shot or do... It got him to half though. Right? Which is in range for uh, Tatop to just go for Jungle Jitsu and then murder this thing. Alright, Tatop. <clears throat> 
Keeping top as late game cleaner is also a good reason to use it. It's jungle jutsu here. I really could have just assumed that this was uh, so this was his soul burst. I could have saved myself against. I mean, I think I needed to keep the Weasel for the Revenai because if that was specialty boots, then that would have been a uh, pretty bad. Alrighty, and here we go into the next bottle. Now let's see here. Man, if I had Protagon, I'd be eating good here. Um, mention it's not bad, right? I mean, splitting headache is a pretty good move to spam here because it only resists is to clips, and that I can't really do anything against. I definitely don't like that Gargolem though. I mean, his switches into uh. Timber Thrash are actually garbage, so we get this in, we Timber Thrash, we get a kill. We do this as a lead and we provoke the Gargolem immediately. He clicks Driving Force, it sends us into hopefully Tata, which then gets a uh, completely free Timber Thrash. Mm. Maybe this? I mean, this isn't bad. I mean, if I don't bring this, I die immediately to the Land Torch, and then it's like. I kind of have to go this because there's a lot of speedy threats I need to try to hinder. Nightmare is kind of required. Luminami's in, so I'm assuming FNF immediately. I don't see why he wouldn't FNF immediately. Don't I just get a kill once I send this in? You're not going to wave wrecker. You're going to flash and flee. for frost beam okay so he just wants he just wanted to get the kill i should tank this relatively well all right have fun switching it against this timber thrash buddy you have one switch and that's like you have land torch and nova Deus, one of which is exploding the other one is gonna outspeed me actually i might just blow up the land torch oh he's seeing his issue now huh oh no he doesn't know. all right he's, he's in trouble Oh, that's the that's a problem child out of the way. That's the problem out of the way. That is amazing. That is already this low and going to be out of the way for the entirety of this game. <clears throat> Alrighty, I can just go for a completely free Timber Thrash again. He can't stop this. Like, I send Tatab in and then I just pop off. I love sending Tatab in against Luminami because they would dare they have to either predict and mega chop or they have to like if you have a good matchup with Tatab, switch in on Luminami every time. Doesn't matter if you take a little bit of damage. I don't care. I might Timber Thrash and blow something up, which I did just there. Wait. Wait. He doesn't have switches to this. He barely has anything. Alright, Nyma. I feel like I can save my shackles against his land torch in case it's wildfire. Oh, he clicked the wrong move. Alrighty, uh, I get a flash and flee now. You have to switch because then you're stuck in boots right now. Unless he shows uh, fade away or flash and flee, I mean. No, he, he's boots. This is his boots user, so I need to get Weasel in against it. And then it would be Tata clicks jungle jutsu now that the gargolem died. I also still can click timber thrash. But we'll have to see. Actually, if I hinder this land torch, I think Metronet wins. Right? Because nobody is 101. Scampy might outspeed me. <clears throat> Alright, we get an FNF off on the Lumi. That is beautiful. Holy crap! He cannot stop this Tatab. He he just Oh my god! He cannot stop this thing. If Tatab dies here, I did my job of blowing something up. And this is why Tatab is insane. Like, are, are you, you? hopefully people see this now. It's busted. Novadeus, that's getting two shot. And I actually live like, after the Timber Thrash recoil here and I get the kill on the Novadeus. Actually, I don't get the kill. I, I took it a lot better than I thought I was going to. Well, I guess this thing isn't the frailest thing on planet Earth. Alright. Uh, I actually could save this Timber Thrash if I really wanted to. And I go into... Nah... I'm just gonna thrash. Oh, he's out. Into what? That's the wrong choice, buddy! Oh, no. Wrong choice. Oh, the Luminami exploded! Oh, no, buddy! 
buddy oh pal okay now here we send metronet in which will threaten a dark surge and we click peace of mind and then after that peace of mind <clears throat> i think then it would force something in like he just exploded right he, he blew up i'm gonna peace of mind he's gonna switch here because he doesn't want to lose a luminami i i can only ever see him going for a switch into i mean he can't go land torch and he goes no but deus out speed at plus one um so yeah this is fine he would never ever try to stay in here he just goes no i'm pretty sure and sacks, it, sacks it off and then goes into land torch afterward forcing me to switch into nine race he clicks fashion flea goes into luminami so he has a frost beam and then at that point i shackle the land torch go back into metro and then i dark surge i think all right let's splitting headache at plus one. Oh, this is gonna deal deep dude oh man come on metro let's go buddy hello you gonna make a move buddy i mean he, you're not in a good spot like you're in a very bad spot in terms of dealing with this like he lost his gargolem right yeah that's just a 120 base power at plus one holy crap he's forced into land torch here which i don't think i can live i know i don't live that i'm not even gonna try to live that Oh, I got a text message. Yeah, forcing into, into Land Torch. Now we go Weasling. Now we don't go Nyma here. We go Weasling because in the position that I'm in, I can force him. Well, I guess he goes Luminami. That's fine. It, oh! Hey, that works. Hindering this thing. I mean, I still have Nyma, which can beat the Land Torch. And it's at enough health, right? And at this point, I can set up barbs so that I, I, I can just be annoying. Yeah, I just barb now. Pew! All right, body crash. I'm going to die. I freaking survived. All right, then. It's barb. <clears throat> oh, yeah, I'm having my graduation party soon. And we were going to do like this murder mystery thing. And it looks fun. We're, I think we're going to give cards out to people whenever they get here. And then it's going to be fun. Tamp. Okay, so he just wants to set up. I'm just going to provoke him so he can't. I mean, I don't really care if he gets that off. He's shackled right now, so he's in range of uh he's in he's just nymeray right nymeray's gonna blow him up so i'm not too stressed about him doing that i get two layers of barbs up, up to his tamp i don't really care about that though when i have britney and i can just click gamma pulse and his switches into this are bad yeah he loses to britney nothing he has hits it super effectively so he has a frost beam or mega chomp on luminami possibly but at that point we'll have to see honestly Battering Ram is gonna do it's gonna do a decent chunk, but not as much as he would have gotten with Battering, or uh, with uh, Droppy Youth. Here we flash and flee, and then we go Gargolem Speed. Now we go Gargolem Speed because we know that the Luminami is not Shade Pearl because it is Health Amulet, and then this either forces this forces us to get a free slap down off. And the reason we don't go Metronet, even though it has a super effective move onto both of them, is because a Land Torch comes in and goes for Fire Breath, which is forces us back into Nightmare, just to be take unnecessary damage. So Gargolem Speed is honestly just the best option in terms of uh, offensive pressure that we can put up right now. Even though it's not supposed to be offensive, we can still use it in an offensive way in this specific scenario. It's a unique scenario, honestly. Because right there, he has an answer to our Metronet, but he does not have an answer to our Gargolem Speed. And we get the, we get the women cargo on speed. But notice how even though Metronet did not get a bunch of kills, it severely limited what he could do to us. It severely limited it. Because when we met Metro, he was forced into Land Torch, which let me just go into Weasland every single time, which can force either a switch or a kill on the Lumi. But yeah, that was a good game for Metro. Even though it didn't do everything, it still did really, really well. And Top Top did a lot of the work, though. We got a kill on that Nova Deus. Oh, and the crit actually gets the kill. GG's. Good game. Good. Good. Game. Alrighty. Here we go into the final duel. 
And here we are going to have not a lot of very good Metronet switch in. Splitting Headache goes crazy. What? Whew! Splitting Headache is really, really strong. Here's only switches Mirai, which at plus one, we could get a Power Kinesis. Yeah. Man, Metronet has a really, really good matchup into this guy's team. Splitting Headache is going to be huge. We just to get our status up early. Uh, his removal is Burn Up, Gust, I think. Yeah, Burn Up and Gust. Uh, I think Nymeray just seems really good here if we can get rid of that Mirrath. Uh, beating the Krakaloa means we go into Ferroglyph, and Ferroglyph honestly is pretty good here in general. Um, Tatab also is solid, and if we can get, I mean, kind of. No, it's not that great. Problem right now is just your snack. I think Nevermare is honestly good. Like, it doesn't seem that bad. I don't really think I need to hinder anything this game. This is a good... I have a very, very offensive team right now. So, I have to play very offensively and just hope I can live hits. Okay. Uh, I think with this... Uh, am I worried? Mm, a little bit. I think I can just... I'm going to provoke this thing first. To make sure it can't go for, like, Gust, Peace of Mind, anything like that. Make sure it can't do that. Yeah, Brain Freeze is completely fine. We're gonna take a lot of damage. But, we now get a slap down off. We're not gonna have barbs up this game. We're not gonna have those up. But I think it's... It, I don't know. I don't think it's great, but we'll see what happens. Because we really want Chip on that Krakaloa. <clears throat> but we get our slap down off anyway. And we get rid of his Air Essence. Okay. Is he Glide? Is he Glide? He's not Glide. Okay, so Nyma comes in. I mean, does it come in? Nyma kind of has to come in. And then... He knows I want to flash and flee, so he would switch Mirrath. He knows I outspeed, so he wouldn't do that. Uh... Tough decisions, I can't lie. Every decision here I have to make is very tough. I don't see him ever clicking Brain Freeze, though. And if I go Pharaoh and he clicks Brain Freeze, I just lost. And if I go Metronet and he Brain Freezes, I just lost. Yeah, this, uh... This guy just has a Brain Freeze, huh? This is a threat. Uh... He would click Shatter. Right? Maybe. I think he always switches into Mirith. I don't see him ever staying in on this. I don't see him ever staying in with Wintrix. That's just dumb. Because he knows I outspeed. He knows I have Flash and Flea. He's gonna switch. And he goes into his Mirith. Okay, uh, here I'm going to Landslide. He does see that he has a super effective move, but he doesn't want to actually take this hit. The smartest move for him would be going back into Wintrix. Oh, I get- I actually get damage. Okay, that's good. Dark Surge. Oh, nice. He's actually just letting me hit this. That's awesome. That gets a crit, though. Now, do I Psycho Blast here? He knows I have Landslide, and he knows he gets killed because I'm at plus one. I think he goes... I mean, does it matter, though? Actually, it doesn't matter, because I have to be the Wintrix anyway. I just Landslide anyway. It doesn't matter. I have to be the Wintrix anyway, so I don't need to actually go for any predictions here. I just need to blow this guy up. All right, he lo he now has no Nymeray switch in. So now my Flash and Flea and Gamma Pulses are completely free. He loses his Mirrath. Woo! Okay. This is spooky. This is spooky. Spooky, spooky, spooky. Alrighty, let's see what we got. I have this, like, fidget cube that I got for Easter. And I've just been fidgeting with it. It's very helpful whenever I'm just trying to keep my mind. Okay, uh... I mean, Naima has to come in, right? There's nothing else I can do. He cannot... I need to, need to remember this. He it has no way of switching to Naima right now. Huh, I don't think he had a plant type. Is he going to flash and flee or fade away? Fire breath. That is completely fine. We take that every day of the year. That is, is, that is, is that do or die? It is do or die. But he does get the burn though, which is going to be very annoying in terms of like chip. Yeah, that's 11 or 9 damage. Uh, let's just F and F. He can't stop it. He can't, he, if he stays in two, then he's boots. So we just get a dumb fire breath off that doesn't really do anything for him. Uh, yeah, he has to switch. It's this freaking win tricks, dude. That I can't really stop. If I get a kill, he goes Wintrix. That's the thing. 
realistically, I need to get my peace of mind off on Metronet, which then I can outspeed and I can kill the Wintrix and then pray I live a Land Torch hit. That's my best case scenario right now. And then Metronet at that point, we need to outspeed the Gervantis, which hopefully is not very nimble. If it's very nimble, then I don't know how I'm going to beat that. Yeah. Oh, he has Wintrix. Oh, that's great. I think that dies. Nearly dead. Okay. Uh, he doesn't have any item. I just got Metronet. Okay. And then this forces Land Torch back in, though. This might not have been a great move. But I do get my burn off, so that is good. Um, no, he would click Flare, right? I go Ferroglyph if he goes back into his Land Torch, because I need Nightmare to be healthy. Okay, uh, Splitting Headache. He can't switch into it. Unless he goes Krakaloa. If he goes Krakaloa, I don't know. I mean, Land Torch is free, right? And then you click Flare, because you know I'm going to go Nightmare, and you know that gets a 2 KO. But if he clicks Flare, then I could go Nevermare on the second Flare. No oh, Discarpantus. Okay, this is a game of, like, are you very nimble or not, right? This is something that is in that is incredible. I can't switch into it, right? I can't switch into it. I only have Nightmare, which gets 2 KO. I'm just going to Splitting. Okay, I this is the most uses I could have gotten out of my Metronet. I'm not going to lie. That is the most possible I could have gotten out of it. But look at that raw damage, by the way. Just like to say that that damage is absolutely crazy. Okay, I do have Ferroglyph, which doesn't exactly invite the guy in. Okay, let's Psycho Blast. Okay, he has Land Torch and one other thing. Which I'm assuming is a Solver's Krakaloa, which means that Nightmare in this position clicks Jetstream Spam and wins. Yeah, there's the Land Torch. I'm assuming you just Fire Breath to kill me, and that's fine. I can't really switch into this thing anyway. Oh, <gasps> he went for Flare! Oh, I lived! He thought Nightmare was coming in. He thought Nightmare was coming in, and I lived. Yo! Yo! We lived! Oh, man. I did not expect to live that. And is it? It's Rancidor. Oh, shoot. Oh, no. Wait, wait. Nima has to live a hit because I don't know how to speed this. Oh, no. Is he do or die? Oh, shoot. Oh, no. No, Nima should live one, right? You're not do or die. No, I live one. He doesn't kill me in this range. He can't kill me. I don't think so, anyway. And I, I flash and flee here for in case... Um... Oh my god! Oh... Oh... Oh my god! You know, that game got really close. I can't really, I can't really deny that. Um, if the fog is, I love this freaking weather, dude. To think you guys wanted Scorching Sun, y'all are dumb. But anyway, hopefully you guys enjoyed, and I will see everyone in the next one. God, I cannot speak. You're not dumb, by the way, if you voted Heatwave. I'm, I'm just kidding. Please don't take anything that, if I say you're dumb, I'm not being serious. Anyway, um, bye bye